हेलो दिस इज सुरेंद्र कागत एस पी आर एम गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज नागौर टुडे वी आर टू डील विद एम ए प्रीवियस पेपर सेकेंड एंड द पॉइंट टू बी डिस्कस्ड इज जॉन केट्स वन ऑफ द थ्री यंगर रोमांटिक्स विद पी बी शैली एंड जी जी बायराम द लॉफ्ट ऑर्ज बाई केट्स वन ऑफ दैम इज ऑड एन मेलन कली केट्स एज ए great figure who is much known for his sensuousness the key element the benchmark for which kids is much known is his very powerful senses to be drawn in his poetry uh, this particular uh, poem ode on melancholy if you look at this poem uh, this poem is uh, divided in three stanzas three equal stanzas of 10 lines and you look at the text say uh, the format how the poem is written so you can easily trust that there is a rhyme scheme followed uh, the rhythm is there the metrical pattern is there uh, the title of the poem ode on melancholy melancholy you must have heard of this word uh, which deals with uh, gloomy atmosphere which deals with sadness which deals with a kind of a downward movement which deals with a kind of a stress so the depression that kind of an atmosphere we find it uh, as a part of um, discussion melancholy melancholia uh, i better mention there was a poet uh, ben johnson who wrote about humors you must have heard that there are four fluids running in our body and due to their imbalance we find the change of temperament our attitudinal behavioral parts they are changed with the imbalance in those four fluids uh, i better mention those fluids uh, those four humors uh, phlegm p h l e g m phlegm and its balance uh, is required and its imbalance makes somebody phlegmatic sanguine blood sanguine we have choler c h o l e r choler and melancholia so these four fluids are running in the body and their imbalance uh, goes for the kind of uh, the swing of mood so this poem is about uh, that abstract melancholia melancholy and how the uh, poet beautifully explains it uh, he died very young you know and melancholia has been uh, with him because death of his brother before his own death Uh, we in his biographical details find uh, his brother's death death of tom uh, he also died of tuberculosis um, kids uh, surrendered death with tubercle to the tubercle patient uh, see and that's why he moved to italian parts uh, doctors suggested him he felt uh, he smelt uh, his own death might be so uh, he moved to italian parts and there he died and he was buried there in a grave and you must have heard somewhere uh, you must have read it that on his grave it was written uh, there lies a poet whose name is written on waters so uh, so short of a poet he was if you look for this poem Uh, i shall uh, read major parts or we shall go for what what reading even no no go not to lead the nether twist wolves ban tight rooted for its poisonous wine so there is a negation uh, there is a kind of a uh, denial there is a um, kind of uh, you say discard Uh, ban is there a provision is there the, the negative words are over repeated no no not and if you see the next line nor again is there neither is there so uh, it's a kind of a ban uh, prohibition or a discard or a denial uh, you don't have to go for lidi the lidi the very word with capital l lidi the river uh, the river which brings forgetfulness which brings numbness lidi the mythical river the greek river uh, kids is fond of uh, greeks uh, we must have seen his hellenism is there as a part of discussion 
so you don't have to go for lithi uh, you don't have to go for numbness you don't have to go for near sadness uh, wolves ban again a uh, poisonous wine is there you don't go near that nor suffer the pale forehead to be kissed by nightshade again a plant is mentioned uh, uh, an intoxicating plant a death bringing kind of a thing is there you don't go near that ruby grave of proserpine even the mythical part of proserpine is mentioned so we Greek mythology is the part of uh, discussion uh, in Kyrgyzian poetry. Make not your rosary of you bare is not let the beetle nor the death moth be. So these all are bringers of sadness, death moth, beetle, then rosary of you bare is. See uh, how these uh, priests and they used to go for search uh, of rosary buds, but uh, here it's of you bare is. You bare is are there, there and they are. Uh, um, sadness bringing uh, sort of thing your mournful shaiki shaiki the inner consciousness the soul part again it's mournful nor the downy all a partner in your sorrows mysteries sorrows sufferings agonies is miseries they all are the part of discussion and these are the emblems tokens certifications of the downward movement all is there mourn is there death moth is there beetle is there uberies are there lid is there prospine is there poisonous and these intoxicating uh, plants are mentioned, nightshade and all that. So we see uh, in the very first stanza, uh, there is a downward movement. There is a movement which we can see as an inverted pyramid. Uh, as If you look at the pyramid, it's rising, it's an, in an ascending order. But if this pyramid is inverted, it's valley like it's in the downward smoky movement. And that's been very much reflected in the first stanza for share to share will come to drowsily everything which is related with this numbness this drowsiness this despair it will cover you up it will be the part of your trap <coughs> sorry and drown the wakeful anguish of the soul so your soul will be drowned so not to go near that not to go in that kind of an atmosphere which makes you low which makes you downward so we are supposed to discard that. See the the positivity in, in the poet. So he says that melancholy is there, uh, no doubt it's there. But you don't have to go near those shadowy, graver, darker, grayish things. Uh, be away from those ones. So it's a uh, it's not the escapist approach. It's an approach which makes us strong enough to combat, to fight. Though they, that is not mentioned clear cut, but you don't have to switch away you don't have to be uh, uh, to be a part of that trap which you are already been in uh, but this very word the very first word of the next stanza it was but there must be a change when the melancholy fit shall fall sudden from heaven like a weeping cloud so uh, melancholy fit fits uh, these uh, untimely fits fits means uh, uh, a kind of an illness you see the epileptic fits uh, so these fits when they fall they are like weeping cloud so see the image is drawn like a weeping cloud very beautiful image is been drawn a powerful simile is drawn like a weeping cloud you must have seen similes in your graduation similes is the part of literary term the comparative term so this melancholy fit is is compared as a weeping cloud that fosters the droop headed flowers all and hides the green hill in an april shroud so all that is uh, droop-headed. Or flowers are not in their beauteous part. They are, they are rather as if deflowered even. So this kind of a shared atmosphere is being shown. Then glut thy shore on a morning rose or on the rainbow of the salt sand web. Yes, this is the part poet wants to convey that don't go for as the part of your communion with these darker shadowy things, but go with the things which makes you confide in yourself which makes you look in a different way which makes you emerging rising colorful and that is the rose when it is in the beauteous part when it's in at the morning time how beautiful it is or the rainbow colors so the darker colors grayish colors blackish colors brownish colors of sadness melancholia they must find an outlet where in the rosy colors in the pinkish colors in the uh, reddish colors in the colors of the rainbow rainbow you must have seen after the rainfall how beauty is scattered in certain colors you uh, must have read it uh, at schooling uh, 
uh, Vibgyar, V I B G Y O R. These beautiful colors violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So, these beautiful colors are to be seen. Life is colorful. That's the message poet wants to give to uh, the reader, uh, wants to go for his own expression of melancholia in a different way, in a positivism. Uh, or on the wealth of globed peonies, or if the mistress of rich anger shows, or if the mistress of see this very word mistress, uh, you must uh, be knowing Keats was in love with uh, a lady Fanny Brown and uh, he didn't marry uh, because of uh, his own illness, his brother died of that and because of uh, the uh, economic upside down. Uh, See, uh, Keatsian experiential journey, Keats and his biographical details, they are here and there being in, seen in nooks and corners. The mistress, some rich anger shows, imprison our soft hand and let her rave and feed deep, deep upon our peerless eyes. How the feminine beauty is seen? We have seen Keats as the man of sensuousness. How senses? When you look at your uh, beloved, when the lady love is there, Look at the peerless eyes, look at her softness, look at her deeply, look at her with some kind of a difference and that will not allow you to be the part of uh, fading, to be the part of escapism but it will engage you, it will momentarily relieve you, it will be the part of comfort and relaxation. So don't go for those things which are already been mentioned, Lidhi and Proserpine, Nightshade, uh, those poisonous wines, berries, beetle or death moth or mournful shaiki or sorrows and mysteries, all those shady parts. But to look at the rising parts, morning rose, rainbows, on the beloved, on her softness, on those peerless eyes. See, this is how to compensate. This is how to be in harmony with. To, this is how to be a kind of a balance with. So how kids were suffering in his own life how he uh, underwent with certain losses, big losses, and he also was victim of that. He died too young and uh, due to tuberculosis. Uh, Shelley, uh, a younger romantic, Shelley, uh, that time poet, Shelley, who befriended uh, Byron and Lady Clare. So this uh, triad, this group of poets, uh, Kirsch died before Shelley and Shelley uh, wrote an elegy on the death of the poet, Adonis. So, uh, this is uh, a dilemma with the poet. You see the final stanza, she dwells with beauty, beauty that must die, and joy whose hand is ever at his lips, bidding adieu, and aching pleasure nigh, turning to poison while the bee mouth sips. See, three words have been mentioned, beauty, joy, and pleasure. They are with capitals. These abstracts, beauty, joy and pleasure, they are personified. You see the powerful abstract personification. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, in the very temple of delight, well melancholy has a sovereign shrine. Even at the moment of delight, even in the pleasurable moment, even the ecstatic parts, we find shadows of melancholy. They are sure to be there. Shadows of melancholy are sure to be there. See the sovereign shrine. Wherever you go, Pain is always with the pleasure that we will find. See, uh, though seen of none, save him, those strenuous tongue can bust joy's grape against <coughs> his palate fine. <coughs> Sorry. His salt shall test the shedness of her might and be among her cloudy trophies hung. See uh, how the beauteous part is been mentioned, how the lady love is been mentioned, how the softer parts uh, of life are mentioned, how such the things are to be lived. Life is to be lived. Life is worthy to live. Doesn't matter whether it's pain or pleasure. So, see uh, how poet confided in himself. How his own dilemma is there as the part of expression. How his own creative self uh, went with the very personal. So, though it's not been reflected directly, but he is a man of philosophy. Had he lived, he must have traveled too far. He must have actualed. Uh, rest of the poets even, but unluckily, unfortunately, uh, he died too young. And this uh, philosophic part of his own, his uh, his test for history and philosophy, his test for the Greeks, 
see this very word beauty beauty is repeated with the hyphen beauty the concept of beauty is an integral part of kids in writing uh, in his lofty words like odon gration and we shall find in endymion also he mentioned so beauty uh, uh, lies in beholders eyes beauty is a joy forever uh, truth is beauty beauty truth so the concept of beauty concept of art concept of nature is philosophy of life all that has been the part of high uh, description when you find kirjian poems so this highly uh, sensuous poet who m- made pictures with these words who sang these words the powerful melody who underwent certain um, uh, exercises which are with the measured mind which are with the uh, he pre timely matured himself now might he be knowing that he will fade young so uh, this poet poet of all times all places he establishes himself with such the lofty powerful odds we uh, might be looking for some other odd next time so this is uh, for our today's class thank you